our encounter was a mad passenger. We used a mad passenger who was the step coach stop. What do you mean mad passenger? She's so mad passenger. Nice and annoyed. Annoyed passenger. Miss step coach stop. A little annoyed. A little annoyed. <laughs> now this is based on situations that came up in and and their line assignments that yes. happened a couple. Oh great. Yeah. That happened. Uh, okay. Good. And so we were talking about ways of diffusing that situation, um, ways that we can handle it by apologizing. Um, generally, in most cases, that kind of takes care of the situation. Mm -hmm. But it may actually, I can't even read that from here. Can you, Doc? Recognition of being wrong, that, yeah. that yeah, you, did, you did blow it. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. You've done that a few times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And an explanation of why you did it, but, but you got to be careful with that. Because sometimes that that can seem like they don't want to hear that sometimes, and, and that could uh, that can make the situation uh, more volatile, I guess. Mm -hmm. So, but a after apologizing or recognizing that you were wrong, maybe if they calm down, that this is why I did it. I'm explaining to them because most stuff you do out there, um, passengers don't know why you do it. You know why you do it because you had eight weeks of training. You know, it's, it's either to prevent injury, say someone's life, you know, whatever you do, you know, why, why didn't you do this or do that? You can't sit there and explain because it took you eight weeks to learn that, why you don't do that. And you can't explain to the passengers, so that's a little tricky, that's a little. Mm -hmm. But if, if, if they're calm, a situation has um, calmed down and, and they're willing to be reasonable, then maybe a little explanation of why, because I've done that before. I, it works. It worked for me and against me. Mm -hmm. you know, I don't want to hear it, type thing. But the situation where well, after the situation calmed down, I explain this is why we do this, and this is you know to prevent okay. you know prevent something from happening, you know, type thing. Okay. So you got to be careful with that. Then uh, we went to recentering. Uh, we had to recenter yourself. And one of the things is the breathing techniques, which I explained that we're going to learn later on. Mm -hmm. That really helps because you got to focus on yourself. You, know, you got to bring. You got to, and once you focus on yourself, you realize um, you reset yourself and you refocus and you realize and you realize that maybe you, it's better just to let this go, not pursue it. Because uh, making a, a decision when you're uh, under stress or when you're mad could lead to um, you losing your job. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you refocus yourself and you, and, and you realize um, that you're in control of the situation. Um, then the outcome um, won't be bad. You know, it'll be okay. And that goes to letting go. Knowing no you had what's the letter C and C for me. <laughs> oh, you did right. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> letting go. Now, now. That's scary. <laughs> it's easy to say that a situation doesn't bother me. I mean, it's easy to sit here and say that. Oh, just let it go. Don't let it bother you. I mean, I can tell you right now, it's, it's, it doesn't work that way. But some of the things that help let go is knowing that you handle it in a situation in a professional manner helps you because because it you, it, it tells yourself that you've taken the high road. You have, you didn't lower yourself down to their level. And knowing that you handle yourself in front of the passengers, um, um, it, it, that you handle it well is um, it, is a positive thing. Um, because they see that, and they know that you 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 are the professional one. And also that also leads back to ridership because um, um, we talked about this before that a lot of the passengers who don't have to be on the bus who just cho chose the road that ride that bus, and they see a situation happen, and you handle it professionally, then they're going to come back and going to ride again. And if, if you if you handle that immaturely, then they're going to say, hey, screw that, I'm going to get back in my car. So that's another thing that to handle it professionally does. But just handle it professionally, knowing that you handle it the best way you can, and you look professional in front of the people, and you find your passengers, helps you let go of the situation. It really does. And that took me a long time to learn. Great. That's good. And don't let the situation get personal. I mean, but that also goes to handle it professionally, because if, if, if you guys start yelling back and forth, and your mom is this, and your mom is that type of thing. <laughs> <laughs>